Today we're going to be looking at some of the craziest CS2 collections that you have ever seen. Now I love taking a look at awesome CS2 inventories and awesome CS2 collections. One, to showcase them, to make content. I think it's fun to do myself. I would do it in my free time, so why not make a YouTube video for it? I hope to show you guys some stuff, but I also think there's so much you can learn from other people's collections that I think you can learn, and even me, myself, I want to be able to learn from other people as well. Uh, so often uh, we have our own ideas, we get in our own bubbles, we have our, we're in our own head so much, but if we see what other people are doing, buying, collecting, Maybe we can learn, maybe we can get some good ideas, and maybe that can help us out in our collecting and investing journey as well. So in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best inventories and collections that the CS2 community has to offer, at least the CS2 Twitter community, uh, so we'll have to wait and see. But first, just wanted to mention real quick uh, that... Uh, I am buying CS2 items. So if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. I'm trying to buy a little bit more liquid stuff. If you have anything even generally uh, liquid, hit me up. We can probably get a deal done. I can help you cash out safely, effectively, and efficiently. Uh, and of course, you'll be supporting me, my channel, my content. Recently got a deal done for a lot of this cool stuff like a blue phosphor, an autotronic, some uh, sport gloves, a USPS print stream. Um, and you know they got some cash instantly. That could be you. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into this video today. So Bob Calvary, he put this out on Twitter. Very, very cool guy on Twitter doing a lot of awesome stuff in the community. Uh, he said, good morning. I'm going to make a CS CSX community collector list. Again, X, Twitter, whatever. Drop a link to your inventory and a bit of details on what you collect. So I wanted to check out this thread and see what people were dropping to him because I know um, he has a big Twitter community, big reach. He's going to be getting some of the best of the best. So let's see what's going on. I wanted to take a look at some of these. We have McNuts up first. What is this man collecting? What do we got going on in the McNuts? nuts inventory a lot of these are gonna uh, a lot of these uh, steam profiles get so ridiculous that they're gonna be like messing up my computer and stuff but whatever we we're, we will take a look we'll make this work uh we're gonna be sorting I, like the steam price is all messed up so um i don't know but it looks like here he has a lot of of splice stuff this guy has a full splice inventory and collection which i do think is kind of funny kind of crazy um never really thought i would see anything like this but you can see he has a usps business class with splice stickers on it um this doesn't have splice stickers on it but uh he's got the gold splice on this one um got a gold splice on this one a gold splice on this one um all kinds of different splice stickers you got the mlg uh foil of splice um he has this fuel injector with 4x splice on it uh 4x splice um not all of these, I guess, but mostly just a huge splice collection. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think there's a splice uh, patch in the game or anything like that, but I'm sure if there was, I'm sure he would be all over that. He's got a couple of splice uh, autograph capsules. Um, he has a M41S Golden Coil with 4X uh, Splice Columbus on it, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, this is another uh, Professor Chaos. Uh, I think that's a splice person's autograph. Um, so yeah, starting off hot with the McNutt's splice collection, which I think is kind of funny. Um, we have a Remix who says, we we stay floating. So some crazy floats um, probably coming in on this. I'm definitely lagging super bad. So many of these Steam profiles make my computer lag so bad. I also have like 50,000 tabs open right now because um, I just like having a bunch of tabs open to help me look at uh, CS2 collection stuff. So sorry if we we're lagging a little bit, but I'll try to keep it under control. So this guy has a bunch of number one floats, which is definitely um, very, very sick, obviously. Um, he has a number one uh, float, uh, Nova Hyper Beast. Look at how many zeros are on that. That's just ridiculous. Um, he has the Autumn Twilly MP5 SD number one, uh, the Watchdog number one, Skull Crusher number one, Core Breach, Hyper Beast 5.7. That Hyper Beast 5.7, that's actually pretty sick. Because um, a lot of these are like skins that aren't that cool, but uh, the, the Hyper Beast I actually do think is pretty dope. Um, anything here is necessarily standing out. Again, just a ton of number one in this collection um, definitely cool hard to come by the the number of zeros just insane like look at this this is one two three four five six zeros on that um, the Kraken one of my favorite skins I think it's actually very cool um, oh this sucks he has a Neo Noir number five right here I wonder if that was a number one at some point it kind of got bumped down um, but yeah he just got pages and pages and pages of number one floats which is actually very sick he's got a fire turp with the crown foil um, so that is definitely a very cool collection um, Exerpus giving us the DreamHack 2014 collection again this is a collection that i'm definitely very very jealous of because i know and i really do believe in the future of bordered stickers um i think cato 15s and dreamhack 14s being some of the next biggest ones we're going to see on go on big runs um but here we can see he has a tech nine phoenix chalk uh number one um i don't know if he has any of the okay i was gonna say i don't know if he has any of the dreamhacks out anymore but um we can see a bunch of dreamhack 14 papers here from exerpus um i believe he's a mod for uh only pixel or something like that but he's got the navi 14 got the ninjas of pajamas the es um, I don't know if he has a full, I don't know if he has in his inventory a full paper collection. Um, we can see again, I do definitely believe in the DreamHacks. 
A lot of the DreamHack hollows I think are very cool, but even a lot of the DreamHack papers can be super dope as well. Um, I do think the Hellraiser's paper looks very cool. A lot of people love this Planet Key Dynamics uh, paper. Uh, the Dignitas paper I do think looks cool with the uh, big alien guy. Um, and the I Buy Power, obviously anything old, anything I Buy Power is always going to be unique and iconic and very collectible. Um, but yeah, him with a nice little DreamHack 14 collection is uh, definitely cool. Um, I've talked about this guy in a video before, Caleb CS with his agent collection. Now again, this came, this comes up as an error i don't know um hidden or whatever but um he has a very very cool agent collection i have a video uh, specifically about caleb cs and his collection you should definitely check out um evil cs go has a apparently a flash gaming collection um flash gaming stickers are very 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 sick i have uh only currently one flash gaming sticker in my inventory but um i do wish i had uh, more flash gaming stuff and i do think it's very sick uh, but he has a ton of guns apparently with uh flash gaming stickers on them uh we can see here he's got um, this uh, flash gaming craft, this flash gaming craft, um, this uh, he has just so many flash gaming hollows. But flash gaming hollows are so expensive right now too. This is a Titan Cato 15 hollow on this as well as far as the other flash gaming stuff. He's got a bunch of flash gaming graffitis. Um, I don't know if he has any standalone stickers. Again, you never know with a lot of these people too because they're going to have obviously a lot of stuff in storage units. But um, you can see here he's got the Twilight Galaxy, very very cool craft. Um, so yeah, I I do definitely believe in the future of. Uh, the flash gaming stuff. I think even right now, they're probably still per decent purchases, both the paper and um, the hollows from the Boston collection. Those stickers are just so rare and they look so good. Um, here we have a lock with a Cano 15 DreamHack 14 collection. Again, this is something I'm very jealous of. These are, if I could uh, start collections for two stickers right now, these are two of the um, sticker uh, groups and uh, kind of majors that I would definitely be targeting. Um, again, people just have such crazy Steam profiles. It's so hard on the, the Google Chrome especially. Um, can we see any of this stuff again this this post is also very very old um so a lot of these people have changed around their inventories and, and made stuff uh into storage units and stuff since since then um but we can see here he has a dreamhack 14 craft on this one um he's got a, a cattle 15 craft cattle 15 craft now me personally when i go for collecting investing i'm not necessarily as big of an investor collector into crafts i do really like to have the standalone stickers um obviously those are going to have more value and kind of be more collectible over time i also think it's really cool to actually be able to inspect them i know obviously at the end of the day stickers are only uh you know useful as crafts or whatever and they have to actually be used uh, but i you know if i want to have a cato 15 collection or a dreamhack 14 collection or whatever i want to have the unapplied stickers um, but some of these people have um you know big crafting collections and stuff like that but still very cool um you know cato 15 craft there which is very sick um the hellraisers uh cato 15 hollow on the op duality which is cool um, here he has a number one uh, Akabin uh, MP7 with a bunch of DreamHack 14 stickers on it. Um, he's also got some agents with some patches on it as well, which again, Operation Riptide patches have just been going crazy lately. Um, this is pretty cool. The AK-47 fuel injector with a bunch of Fnatic foils from DreamHack 14. Um, definitely some sick stickers. He's got another number one there with a, another number one float DreamHack 14 craft. Um, USP Whiteout with some Penta Cato 15s on it, but that looks actually pretty sick. Um, you can see he's got the cloud. Cloud9 Hollow, which is a very expensive sticker. Um, Flipside Tactics from DreamHack 14, definitely another cool DreamHack 14 sticker. Um, but yeah, just DreamHack 14s and Cato 15s all over the place. I think that is definitely very, very cool. Um, this guy says he collects stickers and controversial weapon crafts. I, I don't know if we want to dive into that too much. Um, it sounds crazy. Um, this guy, I believe I know this guy uh, as like a big person in the scene. This uh, inventory is probably pretty sick. We'll take a look at this one real quick. Got a lot of London uh, stuff there, some dream hacks. Um, does he have anything that stands out too crazy? He's got a number 15 Navaha Safari mesh, uh, kind of funny. Um, he said you already know, but I don't necessarily see anything that's standing out to me right away here. Uh, I want to take a look at at least one more good one so we can see something crazy. But obviously the ones at the top were the ones that um, you know had all the upvotes and everything. Shep CS, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen his inventory before. I know I see him all over Twitter, but apparently he is a nip collector, nip caddo enjoyer. Um, so here we have a nip uh, Columbus craft. Um, more Nip Columbus craft stuff. Here's a Nip Cato 14 on the P250 Mendy. Uh, Nip Cato 14. So we got a ton of Cato 14s. Got some DreamHack 14 Nip stuff. More Cato 14s. Obviously, Nip stickers are some of the cheaper ones in a lot of these sets, but you're still getting some very iconic stickers and crafts and stuff with 
Cato 14s and DreamHack 14s and stuff like that, but uh, paying, you know, maybe a little bit better prices and obviously some of that stuff. He's got this whole like brown sandy inventory. He's got the brown sandy profile picture to go along with it. Um, so this is actually definitely very, very cool just how much uh, old, iconic, collectible, rare nip stuff he has. Very, very dedicated Ninjas and Pajamas collector. Um, so I can definitely appreciate that. I think that's pretty cool. But we did definitely get a chance to see a lot of really, really awesome, really expensive, old, rare, uh, creative stuff in this. Um, but again, at the end of the day, it's a lot of old, iconic stickers again that's going to be the most collectible stuff you know it's not going to be copenhagen stuff right now or paris stuff that's going to be collectible rare and iconic uh it's going to be the the cato 14s the cato 15s the dreamhack 14s um you know certain people like certain sets like boston or atlanta or columbus or um london's are getting more popular and stuff like that so that's how you're really going to create the unique and interesting um collections uh and, and inventories and even portfolios in the long run because again at the end of the day i do believe that the things we're going to see the best gains on are going to be stuff that is unique collectible iconic iconic and is going to have a reason to have value going forward in the future so hopefully you got some ideas from this one or hopefully at the very least you got to see some cool stuff pretty much it was video today guys hopefully I catch you in the next one until then peace